And uh, also back there is Morris Whittle. Jones, Callaghan, Hudson in the midfield. George so a free kick. The ball goes to number three, Georgie Best. Best listed as a winger, but he'll be all over the field trying to create goal-scoring opportunities. Puts Dak Stadium here today, and this is a very loud, vocal crowd. Fort Lauderdale now working it in. Georgie Best, does he run out of room? At Fort Lauderdale. We've just begun four minutes into the first half. No score here from Lockhart Stadium in Fort Lauderdale. The deciding gets number 13. Irving drops it back to Best. Now Hudson in the game. The sudden death overtime in essence the third game. They said that thousands of people came streaming out of the stands there. And a couple of the, Fort, or the Tampa players actually came away with slight injury. Keeping him up front because that's where he can do most damage. That's where he scored goals for. Georgie Best chips into the box for Nanshaw, number 19. Fleeting, number three on his back, and Fleeting clears it out of bounds. He tried to clear it off Nanshaw, but the referee said, no, it belongs to Fort Lauderdale. Best, and a move in around St. Lot, keeps it in play and to push in a little more quickly. Yeah, I think that's, that, that's true. Corner number four, goes short to Georgie Best. Best looking for the cross. Patton picks him up. Best around him. Still moving. Loose ball, and... Yeah, that's a little difficult. We may see Georgie Best with some of his old skills, tight dribbling. Now, that does seem to have touched that area. He nearly fell down because if he's fallen down, there's an empty goal waiting for somebody behind him. Colin fouls number 22. So Fort Lauderdale stops their drive. A nice move there by Georgie Nanshaw. He's got room to run. He's got Irving in front of him in the middle. Here comes Nanshaw. He's around his man. Drops it off to Gary. George Best. Got Nanshaw in front with Irving. Best. Slowly bringing it in. Now takes the shot. Panel. Taken away from Mark. And there's a cross, and he's getting them to uh, defend the play. And Ridley just there in the nick of time. Now Georgie Bass, they go back the other way. Bass cannot. Well, Fort Lauderdale would like to get that equalizer before the half. They have 12 and a half minutes remaining. Well, we saw them at their best last week when they had to come from behind, so maybe this will spur them to tighten their game up a bit. They've been very lackadaisical so far. This is Nanshaw looking for somebody to give it to. Goes to Best. Best still has it. And Nanshaw right next to each other. In no hurry right now. Peter Anderson near midfield. George Best digs it loose. And Anderson comes back to clear it out of bounds. Throw in Fort Lauderdale from Fort Lauderdale. This is NASL Championship Soccer. Mike Connell is the man who cleared it out. Fort Lauderdale again. Look out. Here's Nanshaw. Has the opening. He lines a shot. Hits the goal. Colin Fowles takes it away, and Fort Lauderdale has it again. The crowd has not stopped cheering since virtually the start of the second half. Here comes Georgie Best. He goes around McGuire. Great. Loose ball and wheeling balls in the second half. Jones, he's got an opening. Here's the cross. Here's Nanshoff. Knocked down. Loose ball. Nanshoff. Save on the line. Rebound. Goal. Oh, unbelievable. David made by Jones going around the fullback. A lovely cross over everybody. Fielded by Dubose. Drops and there's a shot that's kicked off the line there by Connell, but it's Georgie Best who puts it in past fleeting. Goal for Georgie Best. And about 15 assists on that. Dropped by Dubose. Hooked in there. And he almost as though these teams have switched jerseys. The first two goals, the strongest of the three divisions in the American Conference. And all of a sudden here in the playoffs. They're beating everybody. George Nanshaw, number 19. Back to George Best. Best one times it off to... It in front from McGuire. Tries to drop it down. Knocked loose by Georgie. He takes the shot. It's deflected by Whittle. And here comes Fort Lauderdale. Georgie Best. And drops it out to Georgie Best. Best has scored one of the goals for Fort Lauderdale. And he'll send it all the way back into his own semifinals. The conference championships. A ball club that lost twice to Tampa in the regular half. Now George Best starts in. He scored that third goal. George holding it. Waiting for a man to come in on that right side. Because Ronson was not feeling fit. A minute 40 left in the match. Now our school Happy Days player of the games. And uh, they line up this way. Morris Whittle was named the defensive player of the game of the Fort Lauderdale Strikers. And the offensive player.